Hello everyone and welcome to Power Playground and also welcome to my new studio setup here. This is my new house or at least the basement of the new house. I'm not going to show you the upstairs because that's more my personal area. I'm going to pretty much exclude that from videos entirely. I'm going to show you all around. So this is the main studio space I'm taking around. So I have my still shot like over here for like macro stuff and really up close and product photography. I'm doing a lot of eBay stuff which is why I haven't really been doing a whole lot of videos lately just uh and as well as just setting up this place here and this I had to repaint this I'll show I'll put up, I'm gonna put up a picture right now of the old gaudy hot air balloon wallpaper I had to strip out and paint over uh fortunately the previous tenants or someone who owned this house prior left a lot of paint so I've just been rummaging through that and finding a decent coat which I found a decent color to replace that awful wallpaper so this and it's this little corner here is basically uh, my camera equipment set up so whenever I set up for a video I have my battery charging station which that uh, power supply is actually in that cabinet as you can see there's a little cord dangling down there next to that power strip and of course it's just various different drawers for different things all my accessories and well, it's easier where my lights go but I have those out and of course I have the illuminated drawer and uh, this will be the general filming and studio area. It's really under, under construction. Just finished painting this wall too because it was had like 100 holes in it. So that was fun. Of course, there's a lot more holes in this wall over here. Just I think somebody mounted like a TV or something like that. So this room coming in from the uh, main studio area is the communication slash storage room. So I have my bigger equipment, tripods, sandbags, stuff for eBay, and of course my networking patch wallets. Let's go ahead and take a look here. So I have my uh, switch, got my Ubiquiti router, my PoE for my WAP, which is uh, stuck up in my attic right now. Of course modem and good old patch panel. These are going, a couple are going towards the wall near my computer, and then one's going towards the WAP, and then there's one going to my roommate's uh, computer right now. I'm gonna have one going to an Octopi on the uh, 3D printers. So the 3D printer is here. I'll show you all that in a bit. But first, before that, let's go ahead and venture towards the staircase. Of course, like I said, not going to show you all here. And as you notice, um, of course, it may look a bit weird because the ISO is cranked up and it doesn't want to focus. There's a lot of lighting in this place. Like in the old place, there was like no lighting. I had to, you pretty much had to supply all of your lighting. Lighting aside, let's go ahead and venture on in to the workshop. First thing you see is this magnificent pegboard, which actually came with the place, as well as this cool shelf where I put solvents and paints. Of course, the exposure is pretty jacked up just because there's so much bright light from this giant 200 watt fluorescent. I'm gonna put a light over here in this corner where my drill press and my sander are located. Of course, there's uh, there's the e-bike motor right there. I'm gonna get to that soon here now that I have a shop set up, and of course I have my we're a little workbench. I'm gonna try to get more space here for more or another table here shortly in the next upcoming months. Dry erase board, pretty much. Uh, I can drill as many holes as in the walls I want here. So I'm gonna mount a bunch of stuff to the wall. Have all my stuff here. Lots more storage space, shelves, and lights for days. So pretty awesome. Got my little sign for effect. Nice little pr added production value, and a. Uh, Got this Cat 6 run up here. I need to button this up, which I'm going to do a video on that here soon of how to organize your ceiling drops or run brand cable. And then, of course, let's go ahead and move towards this hallway here. Okay, so this is the basement, like little central hallway. There's my bathroom, like best bathroom in the house, which is awesome. And then I have the laundry room. And then this little room here. Of course, this is storage, but eh. Not too important. The isolated 3D printer, nice little light. It's like a cedar closet. So I turned it into the actual an actual room specifically for 3D printers. No longer will these printers be inside of a very cramped bathroom. So they'll be in a very cramped closet. But uh, yeah, I won't have to actually uh, use the bathroom that they're in and make things a little bit awkward for people that are come visiting me and whatnot. So. Yeah, it's uh, pretty nice, and actually, gotta say, like, the lighting and everything here is not too bad. 
Another awesome thing about this new place is this uh, furnace HVAC system is pretty quiet. So you'll hardly even hear it kick on during the videos. And here's some more storage, like so many shelves and whatnot. Blurry, very blurry. <laughs> Battery's running out. I hope y'all like this video here. I have to cut this because the battery on the camera is dying as we speak here. So just want to thank you all for watching. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like button. Consider subscribing and check out some other videos here. And hopefully you'll be checking some videos out in here in the future because there's going to be a lot of awesome content being created in this awesome space. Take it easy, y'all, and have a great day.